this video, we will explain the advanced commissioning unit of the qualification pathway. Successful completion of this unit, along with the following units on the screen now, will give you a full qualification. You'll be awarded the FIA AO Level 3 in Fire Detection and Alarm Commissioning, Theory and Regulatory Requirements. The course is available to those that have taken and passed the foundation unit of the qualification pathway. This course builds upon the knowledge gained previously in the foundation and introduces a lot of new areas. The course has seven areas of study in total, labelled A to G on the syllabus set by the FIA awarding organisation. <laughs> The first topic is standards. You will cover BS 5839, IS 3218, BS 6266 and BS 7273, which have been identified as the codes of practice required for a fire alarm commissioner. By studying with us, you will be able to apply the technical limits and dimensions from the relevant codes of practice when carrying out tests and inspections on the fire alarm systems. Next is testing and inspection of the fire alarm system. You will further deepen your knowledge of commissioning procedures and learn how to ensure that the fire alarm system meets the requirements set out in legislation, standards and in the customer's requirements. The third topic is verifying the interface to other systems. This topic covers how to confirm that the required system functions through testing, how to confirm electrical safety requirements are met by inspection and testing, and an in-depth look at system compatibility and interfacing between systems. The next topic is the documentation required for commissioning a fire alarm system. You will develop skills in reviewing the design and installation certificates, completing test records, the logbook, and all other associated documentation. Next, your study maintenance methodology. You will gain knowledge and understanding both of fault finding and of the system maintenance requirements so that you can apply this knowledge to your role as a commissioner. Next is false alarm management. You'll develop your knowledge of potential causes of false alarms and the remedial techniques to reduce and prevent them. This topic also takes you through other important aspects of commissioning such as soak testing, the choice of alternative detector types and filtering techniques and facilities available in EN 54 part 2 panels. The final area, G, on the syllabus is instructional techniques. In a nutshell, this topic looks at the handover process of the fire alarm system to the customer and appropriate communication techniques for technical and non-technical customers. It is usually the commissioning engineer's job to hand over the fire alarm system to the customer. Their customer might be the fire alarm installer, the building contractor, the end user of the fire alarm system or the end user's representative. Each of these people would need a different approach with respect to training and handover and you as the commissioning engineer should be able to adjust your approach to suit the needs as required. So this unit examines exactly how to do that. Remember, this is just a quick overview of each topic. We strongly recommend that you download the full syllabus to find out more about the course content. Once you've done all the studying with us, it's exam time. The exam is set by the awarding organisation and is two hours long. As with all examinations on the qualification pathway, it is taken digitally on a tablet and conducted in standard exam conditions no books or conferring allowed. Once you've taken and passed all four units in the qualification, you'll be awarded your certificate. If you'd like to find out more about what the course covers, click the link below the video to download the full syllabus or download the prospectus by clicking the link in the top right. And we look forward to having you in one of our classes soon.